G'day guys, got um, Aaron and our mate Jacko here, Dwayne. Dwayne! Dwayne! Hey! He's um, a legend of MMT, he's <laughs> one of the best advocates we've ever come across. He's the networking king, he just gets so many people to come and see us. And um, yeah, we just wanted to talk about his journey with us while we give him a bit of a shoulder rub. Got to get him right for, for tomorrow. Cricket Season starts tomorrow. Season's yeah. coming up, so um, anyway. How did you first find out about us, man? Do you remember? Mate, it was a long time ago. 2013, I remember it. Oh, really? I remember ah. it. Because I had, it was a year I uh, stuffed me, well, I thought it was groin. Yeah. I went and saw a doctor and uh, they had no idea, really. Yeah. And put me in for surgery. But I just, because I didn't know you blokes, I just thought, oh, I better do what he says. And then it was actually hip surgery. So I just pulled the hip out, scraped it, put it back in. <laughs> Felt better, yeah. But um, it was still a bit shit house. And then <laughs> I remember speaking to Jugger, who was injured a bit. I think he had something similar. And he said, "I go to this bloke in bloody Richmond." Yeah. And I said, "Yeah, right." So I booked you in, and then walked in and thought, "What the fuck have I struck here?" Yeah. <laughs> 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 no shoes. Fucking never seen a header in his life. <laughs> 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 and I don't know how to work him. <laughs> still does it. Like, yes. We're trying to light like, the fire in my room. Middle of. <laughs> It was the middle of summer, it was like 98 degrees. I've got the air con on, I was like, you had the fucking heater on. <laughs> and then, uh, anyway, so, towels. And then, um, yes, yeah, so I had that, and he, mate, it was a lot of pain. Yeah. Like, he had, it was quite deep, the whole of balls up, and he was like, <laughs> el elbow right in there. Yeah, and yeah, I remember yeah. sitting there thinking, they'll know well, then, yeah. This, this hurt. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in tears for an hour, but I felt like a bit of a release straight away. Mm. So I was going there like every week for oh, a few weeks. Yeah. And it was you know, it was hurting, like it was painful treatment, but you could feel the benefits. Yeah. And I thought, right, that's that's good. And then I reckon within three or four weeks, it was pretty much perfect. Yeah. Like better than the surgery did. Yeah. And then I thought, oh Rip, but then just um after you have surgery, as you know, you favour different parts of your body like, without ever knowing about it. And um I think after that <coughs> I might have like Achilles or something. It was Achilles, wasn't it? Achilles were the worst Achilles I've ever seen in my life. Man. What were they being bold? <laughs> you know, yeah. were they, like, they just had these circles on them, like the scar tissue on them was just so thick, and the swelling on them was just out yeah. of control. It's like you know how I'm locking it to worms. You know how the worms have got these rings on them, and then they've got these a white thing that's just real fat mm -hmm. on them. Where the I don't know what's going yeah. on with it. It was like that. On his Achilles. It was bad, man. I, I live the, in, I live in Furniture Gully. And I was oh, just ripping, doing the, I was ripping the hinges. Like, largely good with me. Mate, I was pain. You would have been, you would have been going up like that. So, he's like, like, oh, just warm me up. And I was like, mate, it's true. I was driving like 45 minutes to get there. Going, well, that's how good the joint yeah. is. And like, it was, that was painful as well. Yeah. And then uh, within a few weeks, that was fixed. Like, it took some time, but that was, that was, so I knew straight away if I had any problems. You know um, where to come. Yeah, and I wasn't like injured all the time. I don't get injured and stuff. Just get sore spots yeah. and um, just play through them. I know I've been to other physios. You walk in, you go, I've got a sore, sore calf. Oh yeah, for six weeks and all this sort of shit. You yeah. know. And then Ninja's like, mate, no big pussy. <laughs> <laughs> can't play tomorrow. And, that's <laughs> and but you can because it's all in the mind as well. And then yeah, um, yeah over the, just over the journey, just whenever I got sore, just go and see the Ninja. Yeah. Um, a few times he wasn't available. I've seen you, I've seen yeah. Jace. Um, I remember the first time that I saw you in Richmond. I would have probably just started. <laughs> Whenever Ninja handles someone to you, especially when you're just starting, he you, you gives you a little bit of a synopsis. And he was like, I remember you said something like, oh, he's pretty loose, he'll be dropping sea bombs <laughs> <laughs> And no shit, like one minute in, you are like, oh, it's kind of a thing. <laughs> I was like, that is this funny. Wrong bike, wrong bike. Wrong I reckon bike. I copped that one too. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. so funny. So yeah, just over the journey, man, I've had a few things, like Achilles, a calf, what else. Um, yeah, get the occasion to sort back now and then, doing manual jobs. Um, yeah, it's just over the journey, mate. Just yeah. always been good as gold, really. Been great. But I think since you figured out that you know the place to come to if you've got a niggle, your your best thing is just being an advocate. As Ninja said, you've handled that many people <laughs> to us. We wouldn't, it wouldn't yeah. be able to count, could we? Yeah, like, yeah. It's just that many. Which well, is... as I say, I believe in it because I, I wouldn't tell someone to go somewhere if I didn't. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to say just go there for the sake of it. Yeah. Um, and obviously playing cricket, I kept saying it. Because you're in Richmond, it's hard for me to recommend people because yeah, exactly. too far. 
people just go, oh, bugger that. But um, since you've been Kilsyth and Furniture Gully, that's 10 minutes from our club, you know, so yeah. like I think a couple of years ago, big deal, don't have me. Yeah. You think he don't have me. Yeah. You know, and, and, um, come a ninja. Come a ninja, and like a few days later, he, he played the next week. You know, I remember he couldn't even doesn't run that quick anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't run that quick, and uh, he, he couldn't even move. Oh, far out. We can't have him injured. And then yeah. he came to you, and then he actually played the next week straight up. I was like, and then he he was swearing by too, and then you know, Sharpie, but he injured every week. Oh, yeah, Sharpie um, came. That's right. Yeah. I mean, he had back. And he point. did his back. Yeah, I think he came to see me first. Actually. Yeah, mm -hmm. he did. Yeah. So yeah, just over the journey. Um, so I believe in it, so I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'll just tell them, come here. Yeah. So, and mate, everyone loves it too. Even my mate Panda, and he's got his knee. Yeah. He played with a different club, and the doctor told him surgery straight away. And I'm like, mate, you don't need surgery. Mm, yeah. Go to Ninja, and yeah. you had him on the right track for a while. Then he, he just said, oh, I better go do what the doctor says. Yeah. Pussy. So. <laughs> <laughs> but even he was, he was moving his feet. I remember he was going yeah. to the states for a holiday. Yeah. And he wanted to be able to sort of walk around. I mean, you just got him yeah. to a good level where he could actually comfortably walk. Mm. Yeah, it was, it was probably more the mental stuff. It was for it was, him, yeah. Yeah, that I was telling that you, it's possible that, you you know, you, you fully rupture your ACL, but you, your body still knows what to do. It can, you know, stabilise itself and it can heal itself. And, you yeah. know, and I know that just because of my own experience. I've done that. I've healed my own self. I haven't had any surgery and I've done, two, done my ACL twice and I'm fine. Mm. Like, Doing everything I want. That was nearly ten years ago since I did it, and I'm, we played basketball, stuff like yeah. that, and still sprinting, still jumping, and agility, all that kind of stuff. So, it was, yeah, it shows you that you know what the human body can do. Yeah, yeah. So, well, the yeah. mind gives up, mate, not the body. Is that right? Yeah, that's what you told us last year. That's yeah. it. <laughs> well, that's, a good, that's a good little segue in. Yeah. <laughs> body never gives up, mate. It's yeah, mind. I think. I've never met a bloke that galvanises people just like Jacko does. Like he's a uniter of people, and that probably goes on to our next point of like our journey with his cricket club, um, St Andrews Cricket Club, last year. So maybe talk to us a little bit about where you were two years ago as a club and what yeah. you decided to do come the start of last year. Yeah, well, uh, as I said on on the rub down table, there's plenty of time to talk. Yeah. And um, like we're we're a good side. We had a good, you know, talented side, but. A couple of years ago, we just weren't clicking. Like we played a couple of rippers and then a couple of shitty house games and and stuff like that. And I remember, because I was captain and Dill was coach. I remember talking to Dylan end of the season saying, well, "There's something. There's just something, you know." Missing. I was yeah. talking to you boys about, you know, and about fitness and mind and all that sort of stuff. So, at the start of not this year, the season before pre-season, we said, "Well, let's do something different. Come to you boys and do, you know." Fitness based workouts, circuits, weights, sprints, yeah. and then through some mind stuff as well, and see if we can get everyone that bit fitter. Yeah. Most of the boys are pretty fit, but mm. even myself, we could all get a bit fitter. So we come here first night, and it was absolute bedlam, wasn't it? Like, yeah, absolutely. It was like. We had 15, 16 blokes. Yeah. In, it was just like fucking tornado hit the <laughs> 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 Some of these blokes said were bloody animals, and we were just like, oh, shit, what have we got ourselves into? But it was unreal. Like, they, for the first session, we didn't look back, did we? Well, it was like... so the season finished in March, and we were here like the first of uh, April. Yeah. And we said, let's just commit to um, that. And remember, we are just doing all that circuits and that. And as you say, you just see people buying in as well, straight yeah. up. Yeah. And then we did, remember one morning, remember it was about May, it was about three degrees. Oh, it's we went Sammy, yeah. And Sammy took us over to the Arboretum there, and I said to the boys, 6 a.m., and it was all about seeing who wanted to come and mm -hmm. who was keen. and. And she'd murdered us for an hour over there. The grass yeah. was this long, it was wet. Shirts are off. It was just shorts only. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember for the hour, I've never been so fucking cold in my life. Really? Like it was, I remember um, we were doing it, and then she was doing a class here with someone else. So I'd mm. come over, like a hot, hot shower for yeah, like 15 yeah. minutes trying to thaw out. But straight away, you see the boys were like, just Can rocking we, up was the biggest thing that morning. It was, and then yeah. everyone did everything they could, you know, and everyone was like blistered feet, like everything. Yeah. And we knew straight away, and then the journey just kept going in here. Yeah. And I remember one of the one of the best sessions was the night because we talk about, yeah, you know, blokes always love the banter, they love talking crap all the time, mm. and, and the night where you set us upstairs and made us go around the room and talk to each other about what we appreciate and why we like them in our team, because mm. you hear so many. The old leading teams, you know, like Gary Ablett, you don't know, train hard yeah. enough, you don't do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone, All the put knows, yeah. everyone knows their own weaknesses, and just getting them reinforced doesn't, that hurts. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't yeah, help, yeah. you know what I mean? 
Um, but that night it was different because we walked away going, fuck, that's unbelievable. It was really powerful. Yeah. And even when you made them all say shit about me, I'm like, fuck, that's... Yeah, it's stuff you don't hear, do you? Nah, like, it's like, shit, that's pretty powerful stuff. And I think we had a group of like, there would have been about 12 people. <laughs> about 12 people yeah. and then every one person would get up in the middle mm. and I think you would pick two people that don't really know that person super well yeah. to say something they appreciate about that person and why they valued yeah. them in that team so it was coming from a person that they weren't yeah, too yeah. close with, like mates with but yeah. but some of the some of the stuff that was coming up was yeah. stuff that they wouldn't have heard before hey oh mate was... and the feedback was unbelievable like, yeah was unbelievable the and feeling in the room wasn't it good yeah. like it was just like you could tell something Fucking amazing. Was yeah, that? well, even one of the boys, you know, come out with, you know, some of his struggles in the past and all yeah. that sort of stuff and open up to the group, which was massive. Yeah. And none of us ever knew. He'd, to, he'd, he'd sort of have these times where he'd go missing and we'd just, just go, oh, that's okay. Let me. But then he opened up to the group and I'm like, fuck, that's, that that's was massive, deep, you know, it? and yeah. everyone got around him and stuff like that. So that was awesome. And to have that open and honesty, you know, in a group particularly a group of 16 to 23 year olds. Yeah, like, exactly. They're not really always talking about their feelings and shit. So yeah. that was a massive, that was that was a big turning point, I reckon. And then the fitness shit, well, that's just, you know. Yeah, exactly. That's just massive. Then even just like 15 blokes doing Wim Hof. Yeah, like, yeah. The first yeah. night he turned the lights off and some dickhead on a speaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is this all about? <laughs> and then by the end, everyone was just like, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we went, you know, we, we just kept doing it and like, it was just, it was so different, and everyone opened up their mind, mm. and then you boys just kept telling us, you know, even the training on some of those nights is like brutal, and you're like, your fucking mind never gives up. Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, your body. Your body can do it. Yeah, your body can do it. Your mind just gives up on you, you know. And even that night, the other one when we were doing the over the shoulders ten, oh, ten to one, yeah. And you said get a ball, and Dylan got the sixty fiver. Yeah. And even though we all finished, he just kept fucking going and going, and everyone was just waiting for him to do it, yeah. you know, and. There's like 15 people watching him. I think there's a video of it, like when he's right towards the end, and there's like 15 blokes around him just carrying him on. And like he's a people don't know he's a big boy, yeah, but his mind is that strong, Mm. and you just look at that and go, "Fuck, no one, no one can beat you." Exactly, and that's coming from your coach too. Oh, mate, trickles down to the whole. Well, remember the first session? Remember the video we had? He was actually laying on the stairs at the end. Oh, he, no. I said, "Hey, yeah, yeah. go, man." He goes, yeah. "Don't touch me. I'm going to pass out." Yeah. And he goes, no, "I'm fucking going to pass out." Like, <laughs> the stairs were actually holding him up, but he knew straight away that he was going to do it. And then, yeah. I mean, he sees what 600 runs and 45 wickets. Player of the year. Like just yeah. ripped the whole comp. Yeah. A new one, you know. So. Yeah, maybe talk about that now, leading into how, like, because. You knew something amazing happened in that pre-season for yeah. that six-month period. And the whole yeah. time, I remember you were saying that no other club's doing this. No. Nah. No one started as early as us. No one's as fit as us. No one's galvanised like yeah. us. And there's not, no, there's nowhere near the trust nah. in their teams as there is in ours. Right. But it was still like, fuck, is this going to translate to on-field yeah. performances? Yeah, that's what the so, thing was. And I knew that the team was good enough. So I remember you boys were there at the season launch. Yeah. And I remember... Yeah, they did their speech and Lee Murray's like, you know, you've got to get better and all this shit. Yeah, yeah. And that's when I stood up there and I put my balls on the line that night. You were there and I said, yeah. no one's beaten us. Like, mm, fucking yeah. no one. I mean, even a funny story, Dylan, the week before the game, drove past the ground we are playing at, Croydon North. It was like two in the morning. <laughs> phone out the window, we're fucking coming to get you this week! <laughs> and sent it to us going, these bikes don't stand a chance, you know? <laughs> And that was the mind we had, and we and, and they played in the grand final the year before. Yeah. And I said on that Thursday night, we will pump them round one, mm-hmm. and we'll just pump everyone. Yeah. And people were like, you're fucking got some balls, and I'm like, I'm telling you. And then we went there, and they were like one for a hundred on day That's one. Right, and I I'm thinking, but this is a good test straight up. Then we went whoosh, bottom them out for 180, mm-hmm. and then none for 30 overnight. And then day two, we had 80 overs to bat. The game was over in 30. Yeah. Dylan smashed 100. Uh, we're one for 180 off 40 overs. Game over. Yeah, like really. straight up. And you just knew straight away, like, nah, that's, you know, you don't want to get ahead of yourself, but you knew that. Yeah, yeah exactly. That it was, was good to just get that one. And then the, the people, the team would be like, holy shit. Yeah. We're on here. Well, mate, even know, our like, warm up, because you blokes taught us about, you know, don't stand and go, stretch your arms, fucking do something different, you know, get down, do the, yeah. do the, um, fucking. Biomenergetics. Yeah, all the bio shit. And then. Yeah, the, the capoeira. Is yeah, so like, yeah. even like we had our, like you taught us about shoes and socks are all, you know, not needed. Yeah. You've got to wear them in a game, of course, but like, we were rocking up, shoes and socks off, shirt straight off, didn't matter what the weather, like we were doing with white, pissing down rain. Because <laughs> normally cricket, you get there and it's raining, so you just sit the shit with your hoodies on and freezing your nuts off. Yeah. But we're like, nah, shoes off, 
joggers off, shorts only. And I remember round one at Croydon North, there's a old bloke, there's about six of them, yeah. Billy Francis, and the boys have been there forever. And we're out there, we're fucking shoes off, running around, and then we're like screaming at each other's face, going off our nanas. And then I'm walking off, Billy Francis is like, Jago! <laughs> You've been watching too much fucking TV. <laughs> What's all that shit about? Yeah. And then, um, as we're walking off day two, after we passed him one for one eight, he said, "Good TV, mate." Good TV. <laughs> and he's just like, "You guys are loopy." And then yeah. I remember um, Mount Evelyn. I spoke to their captain because Mount Evelyn, great fellas, but from the country, you know. So they yeah. rock up. The captain of the gun, Kane Jones, rocks up, got his rolly, having a dart, <laughs> having his can of muller, sitting there, and we're out there. And I remember he told me the story. One of the boys goes in, fuck are these blokes doing? Yeah. He goes, I don't know, but I fucking like it. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they just wanted to watch our warm up because yeah. it was so different. And the thing about it was, because we believed in it, we just thought we had an advantage straight mm. up. Mm. You know, and it was games against Church. I went pissed down rain and we were bowling. And the umpire's like, oh, you can't bowl. And he's like, bullshit, we can't. He's like, oh, you're bowling. If you want to bowl, bowl. And they were like, oh, this is shit. We shouldn't be batting the rains in our eyes. We're like, yeah, embrace it. Just and we, we just skid on them, we push one wicket short of outright, you know, we've been pissing yeah. down rain. Um, and just things like that. that we, just, we just rocked up every game, wanting to play, wanting to win. I think 2020 comp, undefeated, won that. And then regular season, lost two games for the whole year. That's yeah. it. So, what about that game that you had? Remember there was a real turning point oh, where yeah. you were mm. like, backs up against the wall and that was a real time that you had to draw on your pre-season. It was actually very good. It was just before, it was just after Christmas first game, Scoresby. Yep. We were second, they were third. Whoever won was going to go clear in second. And um, we we batted first and when me and Jack were batting, we were like two for 105, mm -hmm. cruising the one day up. And then we lost eight for 10, all out oh, for 115. Man. I remember just watching everyone's reactions. They were just like droopy eyes, yeah, and I said, yeah. "Look, go and get some Arvo tea, and come back into the shed." And then they all get changed, and you can see the mood just wasn't there. Mm. And I just said, "Right, out, get your shit on, get up now, stand up." And I said, "Well, listen, we can sit down now and go. We've just lost eight for ten, and we've only got one fifteen. Or we can say we got one fifteen. They haven't. Mm. We've done the training. Mm -hmm. This is like we've been winning every game so easy." Are we going to be pussies and just win the easy ones? Or are we going to actually stand up and be counted? Battle and you see a bit of a spark. And then first over sneak, drop catch. I'm like, fuck, don't need that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we dropped the catch first over as well, which hurts when you've got only at 150 on the board. And then they were two for 70. And I remember, come on, I've got a wicket. And I brought him in and said, listen, at three for 70, this is us now. Mm -hmm. We're either the, the pussies of old or we're new. And then we just chipped away at a wicket, slowly but surely. But then they needed five runs and still had three wickets in the shed. Fuck, really? And I'm thinking, oh, fuck. And then one of the blokes just got out, I think Dill got him. So we had two wickets, five runs, and then this bloke's gone for the big six to finish it. And he hit this ball out long. And I remember Jed. And talk about fitness, skill yeah. and that. 16 as well. 16 and Jesse's right. yeah. running the other way, he's 15. <laughs> and they're both gone for this one hand of flying me down, I think someone's going to die. Yeah. And all I heard was this. I mean, well, they've all collided, and Jed just run around with a born tan. He's just no plucked, way, really. Like this, mate, you've never seen nothing like it on the boundary, right? He's run in, and we're celebrating like one more wicket. They yeah. still got five runs, and then Sharpie next ball just three pegs Skill on the ground. Oh, and the celebration so cool. was like a premiership. And I said to him right there, that is a moment that you'll never forget. Yeah. And that will do. If you do that, no one can beat you. No, no you one can beat you. Any situation. And we, yeah. didn't, we never lost again. Yeah, it's amazing. Like, we just never lost again. So. It all come down one fitness, yeah. But the mind, was self belief. The, oh, we just knew. Yeah, unbelievable. The mind, and you've always seen that, like. Yeah. The mind was strong. Well, going back to how it all started, like we just kind of launched our Barefoot Brothers pilot, which was our men's health kind of. Um, what was it? Men's like it was probably with a bit of dwarf, wasn't Combining it? Combining like fitness with fitness sort with of just talking about men's stuff. Health, yeah, just bringing up emotions and being able to talk within a group about what's going on in your life. So, we piloted that. And then you guys came along and we kind of like, oh, well, we've got a group of men here, young young blokes and a team. Why don't we try the two together? And the results were just amazing. Oh, it's unreal, isn't it? It was like, unbelievable. It's when, 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 when teams get together and they galvanise and there's trust and there's you know, that kind of environment. We just knew that no one on the... Like, you walk across the oval and you just look around and go, like, not one of these people has ever taken a shortcut. 
Yeah. Like, he just knew. So it didn't matter who it was, he just looked at him and went, oh yeah. You know, he's, if he messes up, that's okay, because he's, he's not messing up, or it's not because of a lack of preparation, it's just, you know, he made a mistake. Yeah, exactly. It's not just exactly. like, oh, we're two for 100, and he's unfit, he hasn't yeah. trained for two months. Exactly. He's shit, you know. It was just like, we just knew that no one was going to let you down. Because everyone has seen an individual do an amazing feat in the yeah, gym. Correct. Or shared something really honest. Yeah. So from both the mental and the physical, there was trust. Oh, man. So, it was unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, even just, you can see even guys wanting to be around the ones as well. Yeah. So like even at training and shit, they were just trying to, you know, get better as well. Yeah. And some of them got on the journey, some of them dropped off and that, but, you know, they knew what they missed out on. Mm. So... You know, different this year because we couldn't do all that sort of stuff yeah. in here, could we, with the COVID? But there's carryover, isn't there? Well, that's going to be the test. And I said that to the boys the other day. Like, do you want to be one year wonders or you go, know, again. go again? So that's going to be a test. You know, yeah. life short. You've seen it, haven't you? Mm. Fucking, you missed a whole footy season this year. The yeah. most suck, you know. So we got the opportunity again. So it'd be interesting to see how it goes. But the boys are still pretty, still pretty still competitive, buzzing. mate. Oh, yeah. mate. Well, you're, you're obviously, you, you won the Premiership, yeah. and then you're up a division now, so yeah. it's you know tougher competition, but you reckon you'll just skill everyone again, right? <laughs> Can't say that on camera, but <laughs> no, yeah. we, we just believe in ourselves, that's all. So yeah. you wouldn't call it arrogance or cockiness. We just think that you know what we got is strong. So you know we're playing a practice match tomorrow, and we're going there. like To us, a practice match is not a practice match. It's just go and pump the opposition. Another opportunity. You yeah. know, and then... We look, look to next week and then we just try and pump them yeah. and then just keep going. I mean, even the training, mate, that training, the, the competitiveness is absolutely ridiculous. That's great. Like, we got a couple of new bikes this year and they like, fuck you, bikes. They're like, you're not. I'm like, you know, shit. Yeah. I got to them. I just want to, you know, you get the ball, like, Zach doesn't shut up. You know, yeah. you've got Mitch and Barry flying in. You know, it's, it's ridiculous. So, yeah. it's there. So, hopefully, we can do it again and hopefully, we, you know, they bloody open the joint up and we can do some more sessions with yeah. you as well. Oh, yeah. Get back in this joint, so it's been a long journey. So, definitely, but no, it's been good. As I say, mate, I'm doing the video, but I couldn't recommend the place higher. Yeah, from a you know, massage, mind, fitness like your boys got everything going here. Um, you know, I, I just recommend you everyone, really. Yeah. So, no, we love having you around, Jacko. Yeah, it's good fun, mate. <laughs> bit great. of energy around, good chats. Oh, definitely, part of the family, aren't you? Yeah, yeah you're part of the like family, family, family sure. thing. Always, yeah, always yeah. drive past Dorset Road, toot the horn. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. I never hear it. Well, let's, <laughs> let's what about um, talk a bit about yourself, maybe. What, what, what do you do, mate? What, what do you do for a living? Just get rub downs. <laughs> <laughs> you get rub downs. Nah, so I just run my own, uh, I've got a gardening and landscaping business, which is good as well because all the boys from cricket work with me. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Funny. You galvanise with men, mate. Yeah, so you got, get everyone together. Got me nephew and his best mate, and then we got Robbie, Zach, Pembo. Literally six of the first 11 work for me. That's so good. Um, so, you know, even at work, we're competitive. Yeah. <laughs> Who can lift the most and <laughs> shit like that. So, yeah, we just do that, mate. We just flat knacker all the time. So we work all day, go to cricket all night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Maybe that life. laughs> so, yeah, get sunburned every day. I love how um, Jacko does a lot of work around the eastern suburbs here and he uses our place as a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and Jacko would just, Jacko would just come in for a bit of drink and go to take a piss. Shower, whatever. <laughs> During the lockdown, Minj and I were, t were filming something, weren't we? We hear the door, we're like, who's that? There's Jacko taking a piss. Who's <laughs> 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 <Jacko's> that? <laughs> Little. You got a halfway house. I know. Perfect. The kombucha's empty now. So oh, yeah. you drank it. You're going to fill, the fill it up for me. Get some, get some raw fantastic. vegan cake in there as well. Yeah, much. there's a bit of raw vegan cake in there. <laughs> but uh, it's been good, mate. It's been bloody beneficial for both of us. So. Yeah. I love having you around, man. Uh, it's been good. You want anything else? Or pretty much. No, no, I'm just sort of... Shoulder must be fixed. Yeah, yeah shoulder's going fixing good. Fixing the shoulder. Let's have a quick, quick close-up of it. Oh, yes! Oh. And uh, if the new captain, Jack Payne, is watching this, see these guns, mate? I'll be running down the hill tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> give me that new ball! <laughs> no, good luck, brother. Get on yeah. you, man. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I think, like, humour, you know, yeah. galvanising, buy-in, like the bare feet, bioenergetics. We did tantra stuff with these guys as well, probably screaming each other's yeah. faces. But yeah. like, you know, transfiguration, like oh, looking yeah. each other's eyes, personal boundary mm -hmm. space, like that. Um, yeah, we just did a lot of different stuff with them, and just going through the journey, they kind like, of think they discovered that it's not about the winning the grand final necessarily. It was all the journey. The, mm -hmm. There was the times out in the cold, and you know, 
doing the hard stuff in the gym and just pushing each other and just being there for each other. I think that was a, a massive thing. So it's just learning about that and yeah, yeah they got organized, they got prepared and they mentally and physically, you know? So it's like, yeah, it's been, been an unreal kind of journey for all of us so to, to kind of, you know, navigate along the way. We yeah. kind of made it up as we went kind of thing. Of course, we, you can't just plan it totally because you gotta do what's needed at the time, hey? Yeah, so mm. we, you know, so that's why we kind of introduced the, you know, the talking circle or the Wim Hof or, you know, different exercises we're doing, you know, so. Yeah, so it's been a good journey, and yeah, yeah. yeah. we yeah. learned just as much as they did, didn't we, about yeah. the whole process and stuff. And yeah, 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 it's great. That's kind awesome. of, I just want to do it all again. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't so, wait for cricket, mate. Yeah. yeah. So the whole journey was pretty much we it was on YouTube, like we did a yeah, little. You see, it must every cut session. Off, yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't do the intimate stuff, but all the trainings on there, and so you can see the guys start off a bit unfit and then, <laughs> yeah. By the Shed end, the kegs by, as they go. Yeah, I lost 13 kegs. I know, you did, yeah. yeah, yeah you you so. and Kazza and Dill and all. Casually, Kazza's was amazing. You see yeah. videos of Kazza back when you first started, you're like, who the fuck's that? Oh, no. <laughs> Even my, like, I was going through some photos, I'm like, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you were already on a bit of a journey, personally. Oh, I'm not, I you? remember I'd come back and said, remember going to the Gold Coast for a holiday, uh, getting yeah. in the boat and saying, what the fuck's out to me, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> And then I said to two blokes, I remember messaging going, Get me food plan, get me yeah, exercise, yeah, and yeah. fucking just push me. And then yeah. it was literally 13 kilos, and it wasn't just rapid, it was like eating properly, you, do, you know, training, all yeah. that sort of shit. Um, yeah. That was my journey. Yeah. So. yeah, it's habits, isn't it? It's yeah, yeah. Your habits, and you, you guys had a habit of coming in <laughs> here and got a habit of doing your barefoot bioenergetics and yeah. all that kind of stuff before your games, and yeah. The, all that kind of yeah, duck walks and, oh, <laughs> some, and of the sh- <laughs> some of the shit we do is fucking strange. Screaming at each other. Remember the Chernside game? That was a quick one. Remember you come and warm us up? Yeah. And you're like, right now, get down to the ground and throw a tantrum, think you're five years yeah, old. Yeah, yeah. Smash the ground, we're all just going bananas. Yeah. Stand up, think of the saddest moment you've ever been. Someone died or whatever. Yeah. And people get emotional. Yeah. And then you're like, think of the happiest moment of your life and all this shit in my life. Fucking, he's gone mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's gone, what have you learned? Oh, 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 that we're fucking loopy. And he's yeah. like, no, what you learn is you can change your mind like that. Yeah. Like, they could be none for 200, and you can sit there going, that's the end of the world. Or you can go, no, nah, no, nah, let's pick up five quick ones and mm. then five for 200. Mm. So you can just change your mindset. And that was one, that was a massive one, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Remember, even we played church side, one of my mates is their captain. He's like, fuck you, bike, do it. Mm. And I'm like, mate, I don't know. But <laughs> yeah, it's it's working. working. <laughs> yeah. and, but it just shows you you can actually change your mind. Just yeah, like the that. emotion, yeah, it was just, yeah. It's like even COVID and that. Like, you can go two ways, and we've all had our moments where we've lost our mind. Yeah. But if you just think, oh, well, you know, get through it. This or this, yeah. you choose your own. Choose your own adventure, so yeah, to speak. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was got, my message was, what can you do? That's right. In this moment, you know, you, you kind of like the future and the past; they don't actually exist. No. What exists is right now. So you decide how you are in this moment, and, and that was kind of the. I just demonstrated to them how they could change. Like it was just in the mind; they they weren't in the past. They weren't, you know. Mm. So they get in the present, and what can you do right now? You know, you're facing the next ball. You're waiting for the next yeah. catch, or mm. whatever it might be. You could, or you're backing your mate up. You're talking to them. You, what can you do? How can you participate to mm. helping your team out? Mm. So it was just like a something I kind of came up with, and it I, hopefully I pulled it off. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think they remember it. So it's, oh, I remember it. Yeah. I took a blinder straight after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Proof of the pudding. Magic. Yeah. Superman. That's good. Thanks, Jacko. All right, boys. So, yeah, Thanks looking forward to team. more more with you, man. Yeah. yeah. Story time. Yeah. Story time with Jacko. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> There's the next segue. Whatever you mean. Whatever you mean. Fucking Mac, Hol- Mac Hollins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Monthly interview with Jacko. What's going on? <laughs> World according to Jacko. <laughs> Bloody interesting viewing, I reckon. Will be. Thanks, guys. Oh, you boys. See ya. Oh, the boy.